Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are doing a full face of MAC cosmetics products. <laughs> and this is my full face. If you want to see how I got this look, the products I use and all of that, make sure you keep on watching. But first, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button so you're notified when I post new videos. And I'm out of here. Bye-bye. Okay, let's start off with priming the eye, and I'm going to use the MAC Mattify Shine Control Primer. Since today is a complexion uh, full of MAC products, this is more like a lotion consistency. I had another MAC primer. I don't know where it is, but I had it. I never know where nothing is. And this is the studio, it's by the Studio Fix line, if I didn't say. Focus mainly on T zone. Okay, I'm going to use uh, this soft ochre. Y'all yeah, know I usually would use peachy, my peachy pink pot for my smile lines. But this is the only one I see on my desk. So we're going to do smile lines today, which I haven't done in a very long time. But since this is a MAC complexion video, why not? I'm going to go ahead and put some on my eyes too. Even though the eyes won't be MAC, so I won't put that in there. Because I don't have time to dig for my MAC eyeshadow. They're somewhere. Oh, I did have that palette. Let me see if I can get that palette, though. I do have a palette. I forgot I had a, those palettes. And we're going to warm it up with our finger. This helps if you have like major creasing in your smile line area and you don't want your like foundation, concealer, powder, or anything to settle in this area, then you would do this little trick and that prevents the creasing. My old people to my channel, y'all know I used to do this like all the time. I got this from Savannah Silver here on YouTube years ago. I haven't been doing it lately because I feel like I, I mastered how to apply my foundation and stuff so that I don't crease. I might crease sometimes, but it's not as evident. You know, it's not like big indentions, you know, and I hate that. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. I use the MAC Studio Fix NC50 Pot Concealer to clean up underneath my brows. Okay, okay. Something. I never used soft ochre there, but I figure, you know, we can do what everything else can do. All right, we're going to use the new reformulated Studio Fix NC50 foundation. I have a word test on my channel. If you haven't checked it out, go ahead and give it a check out. And that's the foundation we're going to use today. I'm apply like this first. And then we'll blend accordingly. Because I think that, why did I put that on my neck? I forgot to um, do my nose the other day. I'm going to blend it with a sponge today. And then go back with a brush.
-hmm. And I use two pumps. With this foundation, less is a more. So keep that into consideration when applying this one. Okay, now for concealer, I got my Pro Long Wear in NC45. And that's what we're going to use today. Got to remember to stand it up to pump it out. It come out good like that. Okay, I'm going to let that sit. I don't have a MAC bronzer. I'm quite sure they sell it, or I'm really not quite sure they sell it because I haven't really. Oh, no, I, I do, but it's a powder. It's a powder bronzer. But I'm going to use my e.l.f. Rich Cocoa to contour a little bit. Okay, while that's sitting, let me find the eyeshadow palette because I know I like to let my concealer sit so I can get the maximum coverage out of it. Okay, okay this one is a new palette. It came out sometime last year. It's kind of, the name of the palette is Future Flame and I got it from Ulta. So we're just going to use this. This has, you know, the OG MAC shades like Embark, Coppering. There's only two I know. Amber Lights. I remember the other two names. The other names don't pop up in my head, but that's the palette. So let's go ahead and create a simple, 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 simple look. I'm going to take Embark. Oh, I forgot about Embark. <laughs> Wrong side of the mirror. Too close. Let's see. We're going to do two shades. Out of the and lid. Just get a fluffy brush and just concentrate the color in the crease. Concentrate it real good. Like that. This is like my simple everyday type look. And then I'm going to take the gold shade, which is Lover, 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 
lover at first sight. And this is gold trade. Y'all know when in doubt, gold it is for me. Look at that pigment without even trying. No glitter glue, no spray, no nothing. Mac. Mac was kind of like my first high end eyeshadow, high end everything, really high end foundation, high end setting spray. I guess that's why I'm so loyal <laughs> to Mac because it really introduced me to this makeup thing. I used to go to belts all the time and go to the Mac counter. The paint pot, I used to have the eyebrow and spike. It's either, it was either spiked or stud, but I'm thinking it was spiked. The skinny one, not the thick one. And they came out with that thick one, and I couldn't work it no more. And I used to love um, Night Moth. And I think the lipstick, the combination I used to love was Night Moth. And I think it was Love Lorn or something like that. So it was like a pink on pink type look. Simple, one, two, three, I look. I took a light and kind of like moved it like toward the closet so it's not shining directly on my face. And that way you guys can kind of really see. I be wanting y'all to like really see whatever I'm doing. And I want, I be trying to get my picture as natural and as a real life as I can get it. So I'm going to take this Fix Plus in Coconut. Now, this is the OG. This was way before my NYX uh, bear with me. Fix plus. Yeah, I hear the sound. The sound is just, what do you call it when you are, when you think of something from the old days? What is it called? It'll pop up. It'll pop up in a minute. No, where's the point? Okay. Dog. Oh. That's going to bother me until I, I see the word in my head, but I can't say the word. Not reminiscent. What is the word? Nostalgia. <laughs> it gives you that sense of nostalgia. <laughs> Take, uh, but I didn't use a foundation brush today, but I need one to blend the stuff, blend the edges. Now, the one thing I, I do have it, I always, now my not second time, but it's a prep and prime, it's a translucent one. But I've never had like a banana like setting powder from MAC. I've never had that. I just had a translucent one. So I'm going to take my Sasha Buttercup and set this concealer today because I want something yellow.
take a little bit of Embark and smoke out my lower lash line while I'm at it. Oh, and it comes with a mirror too, the MAC palette. Okay, I have this MAC blush in Breezy. Told y'all I'm trying to keep it all MAC today. Try. It's like a mauve type shade, so just a little bit. Today is Friday, it's jean day. Got plenty of jeans. I was trying to look for a top. I can see my face. I'm trying to fix this light. Oh, stop. Yeah, okay. And. Blush. No, I don't know what that meant. Called <clears throat> I ain't got time today. But y'all have seen me use it before, so no worries there. If you know my channel, then you know you've seen me use it. Have no idea where it is. And bam. It's the matte Richard Golden Skin Finish Bronzer. Okay, that's about everything. I'm going to come back. I'm going to throw on some lashes. We're going to come back and set the remainder of the face and do lips. Then we'll be done. So I'll go get dressed and then we can do that because that's about it. I'm going to put on my MAC lip primer that I've been trying to use forever. Had to fix the memory card. Let's just get your lips ready for lipstick application. I always use a lip primer if you want your lip products to kind of last longer than expected. Okay, so this is how the face and everything is looking. Let me put on my lashes and stuff, and then we'll be back. All right, let's do a very nude combo today. We're going to take my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner, which I used yesterday. That should be staring at me right in front of my face, but it is not because I'm in a rush. And... Okay, then well, I'm gonna use this NYX because y'all know how a chest matte chestnut lip liner look. It was more about compl complexion products anyway. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this MAC lipstick and influential, influentially it. 
It's a new chain. It's not a matte, it's a cream sheen. And, hold on. That's it, but I want to be a little more brown, so I'm going to take my ColourPop lip gloss and drop out. To line the lip liner. Yeah, I want a more glossy effect. And some of my matte skin eyes, skin eyes, skin eyes, <laughs> mineralized powder in deep dark to set the remainder of the face. This is a very light powder. This is by no means full coverage, medium coverage. It's light, just what it says, a very light coverage. Dust away any of that Sasha. Okay, and I have this sample, I guess, of the Fix Plus, the original. We're going to use that one to set the remainder of my face. How cute is that? And I'll be back once this dries. Okay, I'm back with the completed full face of MAC products. And if you never tried MAC, you need to give them a try. They've always been there. I'm feeling like they always will be there. My face just looks natural, put together just the way I like it. MAC is universal. You can wear it for like I'm going to work today or you can get really glammed up and like wear it to a special event and you'll still be good. But this is how the skin and everything is looking. And I'm out of here. I'm going to work. I love MAC. MAC, I love you. Call me. Anytime I'm available, I'll pick up the phone. Thank you. Bye, y'all. And if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to catch you later. Bye.